It's the world we live in and how chaotic it is and a total mashup. And I think that nothing is the way it was. So I enjoy mixing it all up. I enjoyed introducing Jedis and ninjas and samurais into my collection because I think they exist in our lives. And everybody saw Star Wars and everybody saw the assassin and it's a cultural mix. It runs the gamut. There's boiled wool, there's flannel, there's boiled flannel, there's a silk jacquard, that's a melange of colors and patterns. Yoli is a very intellectual designer. I think her clothes are made from the sense of other disciplines like architecture, art. She's a very unique American designer. Every designer tries to have a brand that's a lifestyle brand, but I think in, in Lois' case, she's a very sophisticated urban warrior woman. I'm a fan and a friend. I thought it was great, as always. I think Yoli is totally remarkable and a real innovator on clothes that can be worn many ways, on clothes that are minimal and yet not minimal. They are enduring. <laughs> as this, I have had this probably for 20 years. I can just tell you how long I've had it. I love it. And I love it that it comes with a matching scarf. And uh, this is also a Yoli coat. My favorite was, I think she called it the shibori, where one half of the coat was decorated, one had leaves. I thought it was great. I love the Japanese feeling, and I thought she did it so well. I've been going to Yoli's shows for years. She's a really unique designer, and I'm always eager to see what she's doing. I have about a dozen of her different Sarogs. I'm really addicted to those. This is not sarong season, it's so cold now, but when the weather gets warmer, you could always find me wearing her Sarogs. Yoli really focuses on the shape of the clothes, which I think is so important. I actually drafted and draped them, and I was searching for a new silhouette. What I call the bug coat, it makes a very powerful, it looks like a ladybug, you know? <laughs> So there's a lot of whimsy. I mean, it's serious clothes, but it's really not so serious. It's whimsical. And I think that with life the way it is today, you should have fun and not be so serious. And that's a black tie look. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's a black tie look 
sans the strapless ball gown with a train with all that jazz on it. Hydra is a very independent woman and she knows her own style and she's very strong as are the clothes and she enjoys the clothes because they really are the fabric of her life.